we've been great um, the past few weeks here. You know, I think we've been locked in um, every day. Um, really bought into coaches' scout and um, whatever the coaches say. And um, you know, we've really taken pride in our defense and um, haven't looked too far ahead. You know, we've always just been focused on the next game, and I think that's really what's helped us play um, so well these past past few weeks. What can you say about what coach has done um, this season? He has more wins against nationally ranked opponents than any, any other coach in K-State history. Uh, I mean, he's an awesome coach, uh, even better person. Um, and I think all of us buying into it and um, the leadership that we have on the team, I think it, um, with his, it, the coaching, um, I think it makes it pretty easy just for us to go out and play hard. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter who we're coming out against. Uh, we know we're going we're gonna to bring it every game. Can you guys really close well in the second half lately? What, what's been the difference from the first half to the second half? Um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with our defense, just getting stops. Um, but, you know, when we get stops, especially in, for some reason in the second half, you know, we're getting out in transition a lot more, um, getting some easy ones. Um, and, uh, you know, I know even in Texas, our rebounding was a lot better second half. Um, so, you know, getting those rebounds, pushing up to our guards, you know, our guards are hard to stop in transition. So um, a lot of that has to just do with defense, I think. Dean, what does the staff preach in uh, practice as far as transition? Looking for your opportunities. Um, you know, they everyone knows that we're we're really good in transition. You know, we got a lot of athletes that are that can run the floor, jump high, um, and finish through everything. So, um, you know, we know we're at our best in transition. And uh, so, you know, the major thing they're saying is just box out, rebound, and um, push the ball up the floor. Um, you know, the ball moves fast when you're passing instead of dribbling. So, you know, pass up the floor, make pa uh, the right passes. You know, and read defense. And if you got an opportunity, just be aggressive with it. How'd you connect with Sean Neal Williams on the pass that you got in transition there the night and the dunk that you uh, converted? Um, you know, I saw – Sean saw me the whole time. He looked at me like three times down the court. Um, but I, I knew he was going to throw it. I didn't know when. Um, but when he came down, uh, the backside guy that was in front of me moved up. I don't know if he just didn't see me. Um, and Sean just, you know, made the pass, and I was wide open. So um, you got to give a lot of credit to Sean right there. I mean, he had everyone draw towards him, and he made the right pass. It's been seven days since Barry scored 20 points in a game. In the last four meetings against Iowa State, he scored 20 points each time. Um, is, is he due for a 20-point performance Saturday? Uh, you know, I, I think so. Um, I would promise anything, but, you know, the way Barry's been playing, um, he's making – I mean, he's been playing unbelievable lately. Uh, you know, I think he's going to have a good game. Um, you know, if, even if he doesn't score 20, he's going to make the right plays. And, um, you know, people are going to step up. And, I mean, we'll be fine. Um, as long as we, you know, play hard, play how we've been playing the past few weeks, um, just stay defensively locked in. And, um, you know, if he gets 20 points, um, which I, I think he will, um, I think it will be great. Is there something against Iowa State that favors Barry and his playmaking ability? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. You know, Barry, uh, he's a great player and, you know, I don't know what it is. I mean, he's made big plays against every Big 12 team. So um, I don't think there's anything against Iowa State or anything. I think him just being aggressive and um, especially with us getting out in transition well the um, past couple of years, um, he's benefited from that a lot. So. If I can get uh, both your opinions on this, it seemed like uh, both against Texas and Baylor, uh, the intensity level was maybe a little bit higher for both teams, especially those guys seem to play you a little bit harder than some other teams have. Have you noticed? Teams maybe gun for you a little bit more now that you are in first place. Oh uh, well, I mean being in first place, you know, it's a big target. You know, everybody wants to play their best against the first place team. And I think that's just why everybody come out and play hard against us. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, first place team, everyone's chasing that, and so you know, it's a big opportunity, especially when other teams are playing against us to come out, play their best. You know, and um, you know they beat us. You know, it's a. Uh, it's a big, big win for him. Does that get you guys jacked up a little more too, knowing that now people are are looking to um, give you their best? You know, even when we weren't first, you know, the past few years, you, every time the the first team place comes in, you know, it's you you always think you got to play um, better than you have. Um, for some reason, you always come out and play play really good and um, give it your all. And um, you know, being first right now, we know every team's coming for us and. Um, they want a piece of us, so um, you know we just we know that, and we just that makes us you know got to stay a little more disciplined, um, just one percent better um, from everyone, just so because um, every team's giving their best shot at us, so we just got to come out and, and be a little more locked in every game.
this season it seems like every team has dealt with issues, yourselves included, but how you guys have been able to sort of fight your way through it where other teams maybe have stumbled a little bit. How, how big is, is your guys' experience? How big a factor is that? In? Um, you know, I think it's a, a, a big part of our team, um, especially just our, our experience. You know, we got a lot of older guys that have um, been through everything before. And, um, you know, I think last year benefited us um, a lot. I mean, from the injuries and missing people, um, really taught us, you know, it's next person up, next guy up um, kind of mentality. Um, injuries are part of the game, it happens. And so it gives a, but it also opens doors for other people to get uh, big opportunities and really show what they can do. So, I mean, I think we benefited from that. Um, you know, out of the negatives from last year being injuries and stuff, I think uh, we've taken some positives away from it. And, um, you know, our experience has really shown through this season. You guys have been great, obviously. Um, does beating all these top 25 teams like you have, maybe from a national <coughs> perspective, do you believe that maybe adds some validity to what you all are able to do or have been doing? Um, you know, I don't. Honestly, did I don't really know. We just kind of came out, and um, we don't really look at rankings and stuff. You know, it's that's the different story. But we just come out, and um, you know, especially the Big Twelve teams. You know, we know how how dangerous and good they are, and um, we've been playing them for a long time. And so, you know, we know what they're about, and we just want to come out and um, stay locked in. Uh, we don't really look at the rankings and stuff. I mean, we don't really um, ever talk or think about that kind of stuff. You know, we just kind of. I uh, just worry about the next game and what we can, how we can score and how we can uh, play our defense against them. Three by last time you played here, you had four points, uh, 14 minutes against KU, pretty good production there. Um, talk about that game and just moving forward. Uh, I mean, it was a big exciting game. You know, you wanted to, everybody wants to beat KU, so it was just a different excitement, different kind of energy playing them against you on your home court. So. I think I came out very productive. How, how is it the, maybe the progression, the natural progression of joining the program and getting ingrained in it and, and serving as a backup? Um, talk about your progression and just how you've been able to fit into the program so far. Uh, I think I've fit in pretty well, but it's it's been a struggle sometimes. Sometimes it's been good, sometimes it's been bad. but. I mean, coming in with an older group, you you learn a lot fast. So, like, I learned a lot from Dean Barry. I learned a lot. Just, you know, I don't know. When you come in for uh, Mac or, or Dean off the bench, your eyes light up. Are you just eager to get out there? Yeah, very eager to get out there. I, I love to play this game. I mean, I mean, who doesn't love to be in the game, do something, get in the game? So. I mean, it's very exciting to get out there. Dean, playing zones, not something you guys have done a whole lot, but seemed pretty effective the other night against Texas. What was it like pulling that out of the hat? Um, you know, we've, we've practiced it, um, you know, plenty of times before. Um, and I think it was, it was a nice change of pace, and Texas game really kind of threw him off. And, um, you know, we kept switching back and forth to man, and then we kind of, I don't know if it was confusing him or, um, you know, just kind of held him up for a little bit. Um, but, I mean, it was, it was, it was big for us. Uh, Really changed the a, a, was a big swing in the game for us. I think um, you know we got a few stops, uh, three in a row or four in a row. I don't remember in that zone. Um, then they called timeout and I think they drew up a zone play and we went back to man. And uh, so I mean it was a it was a big kind of um, energy swing, um, mood swing I guess for them. And it was uh, um, really came out in our favor. I mean, you guys pride yourself on defense so much. There's no level of hurting your pride to have to go zone instead of playing man to man. Uh, no, I mean. Teams are gonna scout you, see what you're doing, in your man, and um, you know you just gotta, you gotta, I don't know, just gotta come back with something different, and um, you know we changed it up, and um, you know I think that was a big, big loop for them, um, you know, and it really played played really well for us, and so um, you know teams are smart, they're gonna see what you do on defense, and um, you know put in plays, offenses, the different kind of things, especially right now it's deep in the season, and um, they're gonna scout you hard and. Um, make make adjustments just as we got to make adjustments. Dean, you had five guys, double figures at Texas for <clears> two games before that. Just what's been key for the team to develop that uh, scoring balance? Um, I think ball movement, uh, ball and player movement. You know, uh, I think a few shots came from Cam cut real hard down the middle, and two guys went to him, and it just kind of left a, a X or somebody open um, in the corner. And so, 
Um, a lot of it just has to do with uh, energy, ball movement, uh, find the open person, especially, you know, Barry's doing a great job when he drives the lane, everyone's kind of sucks into him and he's making the right passes out to um, Cam, X, all those guys. So, I mean, um, I think it's just ball movement really is our, our, the biggest key. How important has that been in this round of scoring balance and kind of sustaining the success? Uh, you know, it's been huge for us. Um, you know, there'll be times where teams are make adjustments um, and, you know, Barry scored scoring a lot. Uh, you know, they'll double him, trap him off ball screens, and um, that ball movement really, really hurts him because, you know, two guys guarding one person, somebody's open. So, um, you know, I think it's a do we're doing a great job of finding the open person, the right passes, and um, knocking. Of course, knocking out shots helps us always, but um, uh, I think we're just doing a great job of finding the open person. I know the West Virginia game started your guys' streak to come back there, but then you go to Iowa State and win there. How big? Was getting that when do you think as far as getting the ball rolling? For um, I think that was that was a huge win for us. Probably one of the biggest ones of the season, um, especially at their place. They're playing well. Um, they're one of the top teams, and so um, beating them there was huge for us. But you know, it does it won't mean anything if we lose to them home, at home. So you know, we got to come out um, and really just battle, fight every possession, and um, hopefully come out on top. How about the game before that? I know you weren't playing then, but what was going through your mind when you watched that come? Um, man, it was awesome. We played the right kind of basketball. We were just moving, swinging the ball. Um, the ball had energy, finding people, and it was it was amazing basketball. Um, and then our defense was just, uh, man, it was awesome to watch. You know, it was it was really like a defensive clinic. We came out, got some stops. Um, people got out in transition, got some easy ones, and then uh, we really just kind of turned up the defense a little bit, and it, it kind of threw them off a little bit. And um, after that point, I, there was no doubt in my mind that we could come back, especially. You know, at halftime, we, there, I don't think anybody had any doubt we couldn't come back. So I mean, it was a, um, I mean, it was a great game. Um, the second half was beautiful, um, and you know, we kind of fed off that through the rest of the season and kind of been playing like that the whole uh, rest of the Big Twelve. Levi, did you kind of sense at that time that that was going to lead to something like this, that they were going to turn around? Uh, yes, you know, coming back against West Beat, a, a tough team to beat. So when we haven't beat them. Well, I haven't beat them my whole career. So knowing that, you know, we just. Beat them and kept a rolling, you know. It was it was good to beat them. Um, Levi, what are you instructed as far as technique wise on making highlight passes and looking for the transition game? Uh, you know, I've always made that pass growing up. Um, I just always see the court when I get a rebound, get it to the guards, get on the transition, really. Feel like you guys were blocking out well the other night, but just not going and making that. <coughs> Retrieval in the first half on the glass. Uh, yeah, I mean, we boxed out. Which is, they're a very active and long team. You know, they, they, I mean, they have the, they have Jackson Hayes. You know, he's a big, tough matchup on the boards. You know, it's just, it was just balls went bouncing the right way. You know. Do you talk about some of the second half differences earlier? Is that more credit to maybe some halftime adjustments, Coach Weber, the making these past couple games, or maybe just settling into the flow of the game? Uh, you know, I think it's kind of a combination, but, you know, all the credit's got to go to Coach Weber, you know, Kim coming in at halftime and, um, you know, kind of making adjustments for us, helping us with adjustments. And um, also, you know, the players come out and, you know, some of the things they saw in the first half, you know, making just small adjustments that, um, you know, big thing, make big things happen in the second half, especially on defense. Um, uh, you know, a lot of teams play our backside guy tags. They skip it. Um, and that kind of gets us every once in a while. But, you know, we made adjustments. Some people start sliding out early. And um, I think that really helped us if we talked about that at halftime, stuff like that. So, um, you know, just small adjustments um, from the coaching staff and the players. I mean, it's just a combination of both. And those are easier to make when you have a more experienced team. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially, um, you know, Barry Cam, X, myself, we've all been through the, the, the fire before. Um, and, you know, you got to make adjustments. So you, I mean, nothing's going to change. So, um, you know, I think especially coming out of the second half, you know, the small adjustments um, throw dip teams off just for um, a, a little loop and uh, really helps us get our momentum going and really get into swinging things in a rhythm um, in the second half. You, you can cut the success you guys have so many different ways, but um, as I count, it's the first time since 1977 that K-State has beaten each of its conference opponents one after another after another after another. And you, you've done that with all nine conference opponents. Um, what's what's the specialness, maybe the uniqueness, and and being able to do that, maybe the feeling of of triumph, and you know being able to 
knock off one after another? I mean, it feels great. Um, you know, every every game in the Big 12 means I mean so much, especially um, the race for the title is just so close, and um, you know things different things can happen, injuries, stuff like that. So I mean, every game is such a big game. Um, you know, it's it's amazing for us that we came out and um, beat every one of the Big 12 teams once, and um, you know to win a win a conference championship, you can't get swept by any team. So. Um, you know, we, we kind of we fought back. You know, Tex Tech almost swept us, uh, but you know we came back, fought hard, and um, got a win here. Um, and, you know, so we just got to keep it rolling right now. Uh, we can't be satisfied. Uh, you know, we just got a few more games left in the Big 12. We just got to come out and battle each game, and not look too far ahead, and um, just be focused on the next game. You guys have big Valentine's Day plans? <laughs> Do you wait? <laughs> nope. Basketball practice. <laughs>